Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Alan Wake 2. Last time we did a little bit of interrogation uh, towards Alan as Saga, did some profiling and you know laid out the board in her mind palace and figured out that watery is the next place to go where apparently we're going to be ambushed by a guy in the deer mask presumably someone part of the cult but we need to find a trailer in the uh in the park somewhere like in the trailer park and when we got here the uh, Costello twins or brothers rather not twins they make it apparent that they've seen us around before. Like, we used to live in the trailer park with Logan until the accident. And Saga is basically maintaining that facade. So basically, we believe that Scratch is rewriting the story, rewriting reality through, like, the, the story of Return. So everyone believes it this way, but we're still maintaining that. No, Logan's alive, and... I've never met these people before. So, yeah, I'd like I'll to see my trailer. Inside. Yes, I would like to see my trailer. Do you have a spare set of keys? Good for you. Yeah, I have a spare set. They're just over at Coffee World. I'll get them for you, but Yaku and I have to head to Bright Falls. The spare keys are in the gift shop safe. I'll call ahead and uh, have someone get them out for you. Oh, the road's flooded, but if you just follow this trail behind me, it'll lead you there. Call the gift shop so they can give Saga a hand. Yep. Nothing? What am I paying them for? Guess they're busy. Oi, Vito, Vito. Well, after they finally pick up, we really need to get over to Bright Falls for that, uh, thing. Yep. Must be busy at the park. These are off peak hours, Yako. They're just slacking. Okay, while you're doing that, I'm going back to my mind palace. Um, because I think we just got a new clue. The spare keys to the trailers are in the Coffee sh coffee World gift shop. The Costellas think I lived in the trailer park. With Logan. The story really is changing people's memories. Why aren't mine affected? He thinks I owned a trailer here. Weird. Key to my trailer at Coffee World. It almost said someone at Coffee World could help me. The spare key is at Coffee World. First the witches at the diner. Now the Cascellas. They all think Logan and I used to live here. Wake said the horror story would make people crazy. Like they're being brainwashed to believe the story. Is it spreading? Flooding did this? There's Coffee World. Need to get across the river. Ugh. See, the game is kind of glitching out again. Yeah, more bullets. I like a bullets. What was that? Yeah, what was that? Fuck! Okay, it just got darker. Was that a was that a bullet? set a bullet for nothing. Okay. 
What the fuck? There's two of them? I'm really sorry about the the um, slowdown, guys. Like the frame rate. Once I see some kind of save point, I'll I'll restart it. Be able to get up there somehow. Another cult stash. I found another dead taken over by the radio tower. Looks like it was bashed to death. There was a lunchbox and some weird knitting by the corpse, too. I took care of the body, but that's the third one this month. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. We need to find this guy and let him know the cult, tree, cult of the tree means business. Okay, Dad, I'm going to get attacked up here. Let's read this uh, manuscript page. Ooh, unread. Okay. What had kept Watery afloat all these years? A century, if not more. The locals knew the answer. Grit. Or as they put it in the language of their Finnish forefathers, Sisu. These days, Sisu was need more than ever. The town was fading. It never quite recovered from the lumber mill shutting its doors. Now the fishing was drying up as well. Most people had left to find jobs in other towns. Only the most tenacious stubbornly remained. Dug in. Parasites in the body of a terminal patient. Sisu. Some people tried to resuscitate the town. The Koskala brothers double-handedly warded off the impending darkness with their ventures. Coffee World brought tourists, money, and jobs. Coffee-themed fun for all ages. The Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club built parade floats. The bikers repaired vehicles and volunteered locally. But it wouldn't be enough. Watery needed a miracle. The end of the road was in sight. That was coming fast. There's a safe one in there. Hunting shack.
I'll take care of that later. Alright guys, I'm just gonna reload the game. I'll be right back. Alright. Much better. Sorry again about that, guys. Okay. So. Let's see what this says. Saga in the watery woods. Saga was beginning to see why Casey disliked the woods so much. They felt oppressive here. Too many places to hide. The distorted carnival music drifting from the amusement park ahead did not help. What the Koskalis had said about her living in watery with Logan unsettled her. For the horror story to involve her was one thing, but involving her daughter was crossing a line. Something darted across the path ahead, too fast to see. Saga drew her weapon. Her eyes searched the woods, a noise overhead. Saga swiveled to look. A local, a man on the ridge above her. No, not a man. A monster with a hatchet in each hand. It shouted down at her. Hunting season was a bust! I don't like it. Gotta say, I don't like it. Oh, what is that? Okay, how how do we end up taking the long way around to fucking coffee coffee world? Another one of those cult boxes. Hey, if you take the crossbow when if you take the crossbow out, put it back in the stash when you're done. P.S. I changed the code as asked. But what's the code? I need to know the code. How can I open it if I don't have the code? 257? No. Ah, the amount of arrows in there shows what number it is. Okay, so 527. Just a pretty face, guys. You aren't wearing the mask. This does not belong to you. Do I look like a guy who gives a fuck? Of course, there's only one bullet. Or a bullet. One crossbow bolt. Um, I guess... I will quick slot it to the left. Oh, right, I could take him. I maybe. Apparently I cannot. Cuz I don't have space. Right. Okay. Um, fuck, you know what, let's, no, discard, you can only hold four at a time in each slot, that is stupid. I don't know why I started throwing stuff away when the shoebox is right there, but whatever. I have a feeling we'll be okay. Plus, I still got tons of shotgun bullets, man. Um, actually. I will quick save again, real quick. Let's 
take these? No. There was nothing back here, right? Yeah. I hear someone. Someone's already looking for us. Just cause. Just cause. Shots though. And I got my arrows back. Or my bolts, rather. Okay, so where am I? I'm up there. Let's go all the way around here just to get here. You know, this seems like the right way. Saga, move faster, please. But this also looks like the right way. First. I think the way up leads to the radio tower. I think I saw something like that on the map. National. Oh, it's up there. Three little deers ventured to Rome and found a nice place to play, to eat and play. One little deer never came home, and two of the deers cried all day. So three little deers ventured to Rome. One little, and, okay, one little deer... Three little deers ventured out, or ventured to Rome and found a nice place to eat and play. One little deer never came home, and two of the deers cried all day. Okay, I'm missing a doll. I think I'm missing. Oh, they're right here. So I'm missing another moose doll. Like I can't go up the radio tower. Nothing. Whole lot of zips, zilch, and nada. 
Another Alex Casey lunchbox? Seems so. so. I lowered my rifle, standing on the car's roof. I looked out at the carnage. Zombies had almost won, but luckily I was here. Heroes are sometimes the people we least expect them to be. Now my town was finally safe, thanks to me. I slung the hot piece of iron over my shoulder one more time. Hopefully, for the last time. The townspeople, cautiously emerging from their hiding places, surveyed the same carnage I saw and cheered my name. And they waved and they cheered again. Now I could finally get back to my quiet, unassuming life. Reading books and gardening. Fiber crafts and being the world's top mycology expert. Suddenly, a hand seized my wrist. I looked into the eyes of the sweet, sensitive writer I had come... I had known since childhood. A smile spread across his beautiful, kind face, and I felt at peace for the first time since the zombies had first emerged. You did it. I know you could. Or I knew you could. Now we can live together in peace for the rest of our days. So, where was it? It's down here. Yeah. So, when we have two. Only two of the pieces. So, maybe. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Jeez, no, I wasted a bullet. Another charm. Good thing Logan made me this bracelet. Increases resilience against being staggered or interrupted. Eh. Okay. Um, it's the end of this light. Well, I go to my mind palace. This stuff. Uh, watery, watery. There. More fan fiction with zombies and mycology. Not gonna lie, I'd read more of these. You crazy. Nursery rhymes. No. Ah, yeah. Alright. There we go. 
Sorry, guys. Rhyme found by the radio tower near Watery. This one right here. The rhyme was about a deer being eaten by wolves. The deer doll used to solve the rhyme puzzle. Kind of hard to tell it's a deer. I suppose clothespins are a lim limiting medium. This one's a moose. Moose doll used to solve the rhyme puzzle. I don't think we've gotten that one yet. I love the antlers and its little face. Nicely made. Uh, cult stashes. So stash found a shooting range near Watery. There was a crossbow inside. Better my hands than theirs. The note inside talks about dead taken. Lunch boxes. Knitting. Interesting. Story. Okay. So the story is affecting more people's memories. Um, this one, I guess? Yeah. Will my memories change? It's not just Rose. Ilmo and Yako are affected too. How long before my memories are affected? Good question. All right, so I think we're done with this area. So we can head back down. So we're going to rise out of the water. Hmm. Looks like we made it to Coffee World. Maybe. What's this? Another lunchbox area? Looks like it. More of those kids' lunch boxes. Hi, Hero. I think a few pieces of paper from my private fanfiction project got mixed into some of the stashes, but I don't know which ones. I posted some online, and they're getting pretty good reviews. But I'd appreciate it if you didn't read them. It's a privacy thing. No, I'm going to read all of them. Every single one. There's nothing you can do about it. Not a damn thing. Ranger cabin. Uh, it's kind of flooded. Someone used to fish here, eh? Wow, this place is like really flooded. This place just sounds so inviting, doesn't it? Best in town, hot dogs, cold drinks, enjoy! I was going to say I was about to take shit, but I got interrupted by someone doing something. Is that a potato? That is a random potato. Happy face. We're gonna have to store some more stuff. 
Um, I guess we can move this. Move this. Probably move this. Scratch on the hunt. Scratch stalked through the forest. A terrifying dark presence in the night, more sensed than seen. Darkness boiled in his skull, like a storm cloud crammed into a bottle. The woods were alive with those he had taken. They were coming with him, directed by him. His army of darkness. His singular purpose was a sharp, pulsing black hole in his head. Waves roaring out of it to whip his flock into a frenzy, filling them with his purpose. The clicker. He wanted it. To make his horrific ending to the story come true. The art was there. The clicker would push it across the final threshold, a detonator to send out a tidal wave that would spread to overtake reality. He was so close to claiming it. The Taken gibbered and shouted, straining against their invisible leashes, filled with bloodlust. Scratch let them go. They launched themselves into the night with violent glee. He ripped a signpost from the ground, swung it in his hands as if it was made of air. Ahead, the music started. It called him on. Let the final deer fence commence. Ah, uh, lovely. All right, let's Hello? see what horrors await us here. Anyone here? here? <laughs> nope. Did they get out? Did the Taken get them? Or were they turned into Taken? I'll need to get the key to the trailer park myself. Ilmo said the key is kept in the gift shop safe. It's a gift shop. I think. Locked. Of course it is. Need something to Jimmy it open with. A list of maintenance work. Hey, the lock is jammed again. I forced it last time with the screwdriver, which has disappeared. Again. Put shit back when you use it. A screwdriver. Huh. Log maintenance. Coffee world entrance sign defaced. Cleaned with detergent. Wax sign. Should be good until someone tags it again tomorrow. Victor. Slow roaster pod is stuck. Won't swing. I hit, I hit it with some WD-40. Seems good for now. Yako. Fallen tree near Lat Latte Lagoon. Should probably call the tree guy. Chainsawed and removed. Keeping the wood. Yako. Several burned out bulbs on percolator. Place and order more bulbs. Steward. Percolator control panel jammed. Steward. Removed f front with screwdriver. Found a penny in there? Uh, squeaking on Latte Lagoon car. Be tightened. But the bolts less bad now. All right. Game is kind of freaking out on me again.
all right, I'm now running on the lowest fucking settings. Like, my computer should be able to handle this. I don't know what is going on. So the percolator is where we need to go. Here, let's take a look around first. The Hutori Well, from 1913. Legends say this is the dwelling place of the evil water spirit, the Naki, who lures people to their watery graves. In the early days of Watari's history, this very well was where Ilma Imari Watori hid the bodies of his victims with the help of his brother, Yakopi Watori. It was only after Omari murdered his own brother that their gruesome acts came to light. But it was was a madness or the spirit of Naki possessing Omari that drove him to murder, like he himself believed. Is there more to this well than meets the eye? I mean, obviously, you could see the similarities in the names Ilma and Yako. Omari and Yakopi. Is there more to them than meets the eye? I'm half expecting someone to just push us in. So I the cultists are here too. Fish. What hides behind the smile? Eh? Oh. I think there was a smile on the percolator. Can't be opened on this side. Okay, good to know. I say no entry, staff only. Um Yeah. Is this the Espresso Express? I turn it on, I guess. Ah, there it the fuse is. is missing. Can't operate the ride without it. Of course. All right. So it looks like we got to do things in a certain order. When you ask me, or setter. Oh, when you ask me, or setter will speak. When you ask. Marisetta will speak. Okay, Saga, what's with your accent? Sometimes you got like a like a Boston accent, other times you're just speaking like normal. Mocha the Moose. One morning during Coffee World's construction, a wounded moose was discovered taking shelter inside the fresh pot fresh pot gift shop. Though limping from a leg injury, the wily moose proved too quick for wildlife rescue. After a long and unsuccessful chase, everyone stopped for a much-needed coffee break, <laughs> brewing up some of the coffee world's finest. Before the first cup was poured, the moose was appeared, drawn by the delicious aroma. He allowed himself to be treated in exchange for a steaming mug of what is now known as Mocha's Signature Blend. Since then, Mocha the Moose has become a beloved fixture of coffee world, welcoming guests from across the country as well as personally taste testing each of our roasts to give them the mocha seal of approval. Yeah, how much of that story do you think is actually true? I mean, in the meta of the game. Amusing mocha facts. Mocha is around six years old. Did you know moose can live up to 25 years? I did not know that. Mocha weighs 820 pounds. Did you know that moose are the largest species of deer in the world? Mocha loves to swim. 
Did you know moose can dive up to 20 feet underwater? Mocha's favorite drink is coffee. Did you know that Mocha is the only known moose with a caffeine addiction? Yeah, what does that say about the fucking moose? See you, Lahate. Alright. Um, so what hides behind the smile? So it's got to be something back here. No numbers on it. So I'm guessing we need to take a fuse from here because this is the only working ride. Good to know it all kind of wraps around. We're sorry, this toilet is temporarily out of order. What the fuck? All toilets are out of order. Get your shit together. What a weird angle. Is someone supposed to be like looking around the corner kind of thing? That's so weird. Another cult box. Only striped cups. So seven. Count as a strike? Probably not. That's a strip cup. So one. Uh, I think so one, four, and seven? Seven's got two stripes, so I think it's one seven four. No. All right, one four seven. Do not take what is not yours. How about you go fuck yourself? You ever think of that? Okay, so I guess we're not taking the fuse from this. Save. Yeah. Okay. And we didn't really solve the mystery of the park, but I think that'll do it for now. Um, I feel like we're going to be here for like maybe a little while. Um, feels like there's a bunch of things to do here. Um, interesting that as soon as we walked away from the brothers, 
everything kind of went to shit. It makes me wonder, like, are the brothers actually in on it too? Like, are they being controlled by Scratch? I'm kind of inclined to say yes. They're definitely part of the the cult. Because, I mean, they're main characters, right? Well, not main characters, but, like, they're, they're secondary characters. And they're important enough to make me think that they are actually part of the cult. It wouldn't surprise me. But I guess we'll find out in time. In the meantime, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.